news, everyone. It seems like 2023 is going to be a fantastic year to be a mobile gamer with games like Path of Exile, Project DX, Monster Hunter, and lots more great games slated for release this year. So after getting some awesome input from you guys, here is everything we know about 12 of the most highly anticipated mobile games as of 2023, including a few hidden bonus games. And if I missed any important games, just let me know in the comments. One of the games I'm really looking forward to playing this year is Honor of Kings World, which is an open world spin-off to the Honor of Kings MOBA, you know, the Chinese version of Arena of Valor. It's essentially an open world action RPG that seems to play a bit like Genshin Impact. And since it's being developed by Timmy Studios, the company that also built Call of Duty Mobile, I think this could turn into a massive game. So what do we know about the release then? Well, as with many mobile gaming studios, these guys don't really want to give us any specific release dates, but it is sitting at over 130,000 pre-registrations already, and there's a good chance that we'll at least get a beta this year. Another game I can't wait to play this year is the free-to-play action RPG Path of Exile, a game that is exactly like Diablo and nothing like Diablo Immortal in all the right ways. With great single-player and multiplayer content, Path of Exile already has over 27 million players on PC, and since 2023 is the year of its 10th anniversary, it seems only reasonable that this is the year where we'll get the mobile release. Unlike the mess that Diablo Immortal turned into, this game is not paid to win, and while we don't have a release date yet, you will be able to play the game at ExileCon 2023, so this is definitely one to keep an eye on this year. And I'll be sure to cover it on my games discovery platform Mini Review as soon as it releases because I'm really looking forward to this one. More than anything else though, 2023 seems to be the year of the action shooters, or as I like to call them, the 90% of your opponents are bots instead of humans games. <laughs> with, with both Warzone, Battlefield, Valorant, The Division, Rainbow Six, and Destiny set to release this year. Now, as an old Call of Duty player, the one I am really looking forward to is the Battle Royale game Call of Duty Warzone, which released on PC in 2020 and is rumored to release on mobile around May already. The game has more than 50 million monthly players on PC and well over a million pre-registrations for the mobile version, so I think it's safe to call this one of the most anticipated games that we've got right now. By the way, welcome back to another mobile gaming video. Leave a like if you enjoyed around here, subscribe for more mobile gaming goodness, and now on to the next game. Because Project Stars looks amazing. Just feast your eyeballs on this footage for a sec here. <laughs> this is an open world multiplayer sci-fi sandbox game centered around exploration, crafting, building our own vehicles and structures, and then, of course, combat. The game has over 150,000 pre-registrations, and since the developers ran a beta test for it just a few months ago, I expect we'll get an open beta, if not a full launch actually later this year as well. And as the first bonus recommendation of today, I've got The Sims 5, which is also releasing on mobile. And the crazy thing about this is that the trailer makes it look as if it's the full PC game experience coming to mobile devices. I do have my doubts about that, but let's see what happens and just pray that EA isn't gonna mess this one up with horrible monetization practices. Another game that's been picking up quite a bit of hype lately is Assassin's Creed Codename Jade. And the reason people are excited about this one is that it'll be the first real open Open world 3D Assassin's Creed game on mobile. Finally, right? <laughs> Took them long enough, to be honest. We don't have a release date for this one yet, but there is already some leaked footage from a December 2022 alpha test right here on YouTube if you want to learn more about it. And as another quick bonus recommendation, you might also want to keep an eye on Earth Revival, which looks like it's going to be an awesome open world action shooter. Now, here's one I know a lot of you have been looking forward to because the Division franchise is also finally coming to mobile this year with the Division Resurgence which promises a story-driven campaign, controller support, and even co-op multiplayer. It really does sound promising, to be honest, and I think that's why more than 250,000 people have already pre-registered for it. The game also ran a live beta test back in December of last year, so I do expect we'll see the next tests later this year, with the release maybe towards the end of the year. And I never thought I should say this, but it also looks like 2023 is going to be the year where we'll get a proper Monster Hunter game on mobile. So Capcom, who owns the Monster Hunter franchise, has teamed up with Timmy Studios for this one, the company behind Call of Duty Mobile and Pokemon Unite, and according to the official announcements, this game will reproduce the hunting actions that define the Monster Hunter series. So if they find a way to live up to those promises, and this game just comes anywhere close to Monster Hunter World, which is what you're seeing footage of right now, this is gonna be a massive game on mobile. And if you like that type of experience, you might also want to check out this next bonus game called Dawnland, which is an open-world survival crafting game set to release on both PC and mobile this Year. Next up is Fallout. Uh, I mean, Ashfall, which is definitely not Fallout, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> but on a serious note, this game actually looks pretty interesting. It's a cross-platform, post-apocalyptic MMORPG shooter set to release after summer this year. It has about 80,000 pre-registrations at this point, and the reason people are excited about it is that it promises to have no auto systems, which is great, and then just lots of multiplayer options like co-op boss fights and PvP areas. <laughs> areas. Areas. Arenas. <laughs> This is a NetEase game though, so you might want to be prepared for some Diablo Immortal monetization PTSD flashbacks, but you know, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best on that front. Now, with well over 2 million pre-registrations, Riot Games 5 vs 5 FPS Valorant might honestly just be the most hyped game at the moment. I did also mention this one in last year's video, which some of you might remember, but it looks like it's actually finally gonna release this year with a private Android beta test secretly held toward the end of last year. And as a bonus game, Battlefield Mobile is also supposed to at least release soon. Although I do wonder if they're gonna be able to get the graphics right because the last beta versions I saw still honestly don't look that great. But for something much more exciting, Durango Wildlands is also expected to make a return this year in the form of the crafting and survival focused MMORPG called Project DX. We got a new teaser trailer just a month ago and since a ton of people loved Durango, I think this could absolutely be one of the biggest releases of the year this year. The MMO looter shooter Destiny is also set to be coming to mobile, and while I doubt we'll get a full release this year, we might start seeing the earliest alpha and beta tests coming in. The game has over half a million reviews over on Steam on PC already, so when it lands on mobile, this could be quite a big deal, and I know that a lot of people are really looking forward to playing it. One of the games I'm really hyped about though is the follow-up to the popular RPG Vampire's Fall Origin, which is coming to both PC and mobile soon, and it's called Vendier Plague of Lies. And if you're like me and you just love these old school tactical RPGs with turn-based combat, crafting and complex skill trees, I think this is gonna be the release of the year to be honest. Thankfully there are lots of great RPGs already on mobile, so check out this video next for 10 of the very best ones on mobile that you can play right now. And until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.